I'm KT with MCS and today I have a video for you guys on a new air valve. Let's check it out. So I have this new air valve right here. This is a regulator on your air tank. If you already have an air tank, you just get the regulator only and all you have to do is just kind of put it in. And if you have a wrench, you can use it. If not, normally you just hand tight it in, wear a pair of gloves and grab on the regulator nice and tight, grip it, rotate it and put a mark like this right here. You can see there's a mark right there that we put in. So that way, if you're putting your regulator and it's coming off as you remove it, you can see that it's off, so be careful with that on a caution. But if you put it in and it stay into position with a line, that means it's, it's good. So once it's pressurized, it will keep everything into place and doesn't come out. But that's generally, that's how you do it. If you travel, this is so that when you travel your air tank, you can take it off to check your air tank in, so that way you don't have to lose an air tank will have to dispose it when you travel. That's generally how you install it. But when we install it here, we actually have a wrench and we clock it nice and tight for you. And then we also mark it for you right there. So for those that do not have a wrench and you need to get the regulator, the only way to do it is just hand tight it in. I'm gonna show really quick on how it works. So this version has the slide valve, which you can de turn on and off the air going to your gun. And this is a standard version that doesn't have one. So I'm going to show really quick how that works here. So as you put in your gun here, go in to your gun, nice and tight, bracket back, and I'm going to slide this valve forward. That will engage the air right there. And if you want to discharge the air and deplete the air from the gun, just slide right back. That's it. That's all you have to do. Put butt stock over. Right there and we're gonna do some shooting so we're gonna air it up right there that's it and we're gonna do some shot right here just to show you fire it's empty I'm gonna take off the magazine and then I can discharge the air that's it that's all you have to do and you take your air tank off and it's perfectly safe to do so because that's how you discharge the air, make it really easy for you to remove the air tank, not have to deal with the pressure. If you don't have a regulator and you already have an air tank like this and you want to get a slide valve, we do have an option for you. This is the option that we have. And this is another option you can add on top of it. Same process. It's kind of universal, so any air tank you have, you can use this adapter here. It has the same slide valve. You put in your gun, now you can slide back and forth. All right, so we're gonna go back and then attach the air tank on. Same process. It does add a little bit of length and compare to your normal version. So, so really quick right here. You add in about just a little bit more, maybe half an inch to your overall length. It's not too much, which means that you can definitely use a slide valve on your gun there. Let's stock over. That's it. So to engage the air, slide forward, just like that. And then disengage it, slide back, just like that. All right, going to load some rounds. And we're going to do a couple of shots on that gun. That way you can see how it works. That's it. Magazine in. Back it back, and we're gonna slide the air forward to show you. That's engage it. Do some shot right here. It's empty. Now we're gonna disengage the air, and that's pretty much it. Really nice setup if you want to use with your air tank. All right, guys, if you have a question, comment, concern, visit our website mcsus.com, and we'll support you. Thanks for watching.